Welcome to my channel. I am the Art Whisperer, and on this channel, I discuss our interpretation and its connection to current day life. Now, I do hold a BA in art history, but this is for entertainment purposes only. So let's just have some fun. Now, this week's painting, I have chosen Escaping Criticism. Now, Escaping Criticism has been painted in 1874 by Spanish artist Pere Borel del Caso. He was famous for bringing Trump Lowell to the forefront. Escaping Criticism is eye-popping. Now, not just because the boy in the painting has like this really creepy, big, bug-eyed gaze, but it's because it was in the Trump Lowell style. Now, Trump Lowell is a style where animals, people, fruit, slippers, anything is painted to deceive the viewer into thinking that it's like totally real. You know, it's supposed to pop at them. Kind of like those 3D glasses you used to wear. I remember wearing them as a kid to the movies and they would freak me out seeing all those things like popping at me. Well, they didn't have 3D glasses, so that's how they did it. Trump the well, and it did freak people out. Nowadays, we'd go to some like Trump the well show and I could totally see myself in the background going, that's BS, that's BS, that's really good looking, but I call BS. So we learned a little bit about the style we learned very, very little about the artist. But let's take another look at the painting. Let's bring the connection to today by bringing up some of the basic but well-known things that we have been experiencing through 2020. You've got COVID isolation, Karen memes, you've got really bushy eyebrow trends and cancel culture everybody has experienced some anxiety, some need of a release, especially with the COVID isolation. Everybody needs to escape, or at least I have felt that way, and I'm sure a lot of you have felt that way. It's comforting to know that I'm not alone in this, you're not alone in this, we all have these strange feelings, we all feel like we just wanna get out, people have always felt confined and the need to escape from that. And Pierre Burrell del Caso is one of them. You see, he is not just a painter. He's also an illustrator, an engraver, and a cabinet maker. But his skill for cabinet making came from his father and he taught his son well, well enough that he was able to support himself and go into art school at the same time. Now, a lot of people today can relate to the experience of struggling and balancing life with full-time jobs and going to school at the same exact time. He was experiencing it then, and he got so good that he opened up his own art studio. And it was at his art studio that he chose a way of doing art onto his students, which was painting outdoors. Now, painting outdoors was not common, like, at all. He was like a trendsetter. I'm talking like, he was like an influencer, minus the whole, like, selfie thing. Escaping criticism. That has no real documentation behind the reason behind the subject matter or the mental state of Pere Burrell del Caso, nothing. But like many other paintings, there's not a lot of documentation as to why certain subject matters were chosen, why they were depicted in such a way, um, what the artists were thinking. It is strictly all viewed with theories. Now, with theories, which I love me some theories, you know, there is one big one. The theory is that this boy, in a way, represents Pierre Borel del Caso. He kind of shows his need to escape 
the artistic confinement of the day. You see, Pierre Morel needed a way to escape something he had such disdain for, and that was the way art was done of the time. Everything was in such an idealized, superficial manner. He did not like that at all. And that is why he really excelled at Trumpville well. Now, if you look at this painting, you can see how this boy is just breaking free. I mean, he needs to get out of that bug crazy eyed look. It's just him saying, get me out of here. Let me break free. Your art is not my art anymore. Now, this boy obviously is not a portrait of Pierre. It's a boy, quite disheveled looking, worn clothes, um, dirty feet. Sorry, but he, the feet look dirty. No judgment, but you know, sorry, not sorry. And there is this question about the lack of detail in the background versus the detail in the foreground. I mean, this, this kid is so realistic, the awe on his face, but the background is bleak, it is dark, it is without any vibrant colors and really makes me wonder if it's something good or does it represent something bad in the background? And perhaps that's why he's escaping. He needs to break free into a world of color much like Dorothy did in The Wizard of Oz, but like minus the whole tornado thing, dropping a house on a witch. He is escaping into this world and he is in awe. He is in shock. Again, those like weird, crazy eyes. But the eyes look like this is all new. It's crazy. It's amazing. Almost like he stumbled upon some scenario where it's like two short green bug-eyed aliens are eating s'mores. S'mores. I'm more inclined to say that this painting represents the irony of life. This painting, for me personally, shows someone's need to escape as well as retreat all at once. Now, the boy and those crazed eyes, which totally creeped me out, his need to escape, the cabin fever he must feel. I feel, and I'm sure many of you, the COVID cabin fever, the need to get out. I need to escape. I've been confined for too long. You can tell by the way his disheveled clothes are. I mean, he, he's kind of like living like we've been the last few months. Netflix binging, sweatpants wearing, you know, sofa sleeping kind of individual. Nothing wrong with that, but a lot of us have been forced to kind of live that way because of the lockdowns. He, on the other hand, is breaking free, but I don't think he's ready for it. I mean, I see a lot of myself in him and I just, I know he's not ready. Kind of like I was not ready. You see, I have really bad anxiety. And I remember my escape, my very first one. I was able to go to Target once the lockdown lifted in my city. It was great. I mean, I was ecstatic. I was full of tears of joy okay it was more like tears and joy because as quickly as i felt that excitement it all went to poo actually i wound up being stuck in an aisle between a really really unhygienic looking individual this man that just oozed germs and a woman on the other side that was like hacking all over the place like she's had a 40 year two pack a day smoke and have it. I imagined the COVID germs like everywhere. It freaked me out. I was terrified 
I needed to retreat back to my hole, back to the confinement of my home, back to where I felt safe. Now, it almost seems like, like this boy is feeling the same exact way. He's, he's, he's shocked at what's happening. It, it, it's it's an overload. Now, take another look at this painting. Go ahead. I'll wait. Take a good look. I'll wait. Do you see that COVID escape? But do you see the COVID retreat? Now, that's what I noticed. You see, he looks as though he's kind of going backwards, like climbing backwards into this frame, into that room, that dark bleak room of no real vibrant colors at all. That look on his face almost becomes this look of, of fear and agony to this new world that he's finally venturing back out to. And now he's kind of retreating and the look on his eyes that, you know, mixture between a deer caught in headlights and, you know, total creepy stalker, just kind of a look. I know I had that look. When I got home from Target, my husband was like, is everything okay? And I was like, no, no, not at all. So this boy is probably going back into the frame, back to where he feels safe. His little hole. Now this hole, this dark hole that has a small light, it has a glimmer of comfort in it. We all have that at home. And this one, you can finally notice if you take a really good look at the picture, that the light is there. The background isn't all dark. There is a light source under his arm, kind of like, you know, like I would have here. Now I do have here. Now, that light source is, is comfort for whatever he is fearing from the outside world. But the constant fear of something bad happening that might not happen at all is the real mind trick. See, if that's the real mind trick, then we ourselves are our own illusionists. I can relate to this painting um, for many reasons and Every day I look at it and I see something different, which might be what Pierre Borel del Caso was really trying to convey. He was really putting out that artistic expression of escaping reality. The eye popping Trump the well, the what's real, you know, trying to fool somebody. Escaping the criticism of that. We all want that. We all try that. Sometimes we fail at it. But it's not just art that he's escaping from. It's not just the style he did, had such disdain for. It could have been many things in his life. The title says escaping criticism. It doesn't say what kind. And it doesn't say why. That's for us to interpret. And that's what I love about this. You can interpret it, I can interpret it a million different ways. No one is right, no one is wrong. That is the beauty behind this. As long as it speaks to you, even if it says to you, I'm totally boring, walk away, it still spoke to you. And that's the point of this channel. Now, if you have any thoughts, put them in the comments section down below let me know are you happy being stuck at home are you looking to get back out in the world did you ever see a short green big-eyed bunch of aliens eating s'mores s'mores hmm. so until my next show hit that subscribe button Give a thumbs up, come back, see which art piece I choose next week. And until then, this is the Art Whisperer.